Hey gang, so we are officially in that part of the DC summer where it is 90 degrees out and 50% humidity, and that's where it starts for the day. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit hot, it's a little bit muggy, uh, and I'm a little bit disgusting, but I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Um, so this is a very, very, very special tutorial that was requested by Matt Brummett uh, through my support form online at drexfactory.com support. Um, this is a thing that not a lot of people have taken advantage of, but uh, if you donate to the production of these videos here, you get to actually put in a request to have your very own tutorial made. So, Matt, thank you so much for, uh, for being a part of this experiment, and those of you guys out there who want to see tutorials on a particular topic, go to drexfactor.com slash support or patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and uh, sign up to help make these videos happen, and it usually is really, really helpful in uh, making your particular tutorial happen. So Matt here wanted to see a tutorial specifically on how to perform Zan's Diamond in Split Opposites, and I totally understand why. Because, um, you know, performing Zan's Diamond in, you know, together same is a relatively straightforward task. Um, but once you get past any of the together time uh, Zan's Diamond variations, it gets to be a little bit of a challenge. Now, I'm very fond of teaching Zan's Diamond in segments, uh, that is, pieces that you can bring back and forth together. And today it'll be no different. We're going we're gonna to kind of put this together uh, step by step and see if that makes it a little bit easier to grok. Um, and where we're actually going to start is right here with a split time opposite anti-spin flower, uh, four petal anti-spin flower, right? Um, now, in case you don't already know how to perform this, this is kind of uh, the you know, two minutes, really, really rapid tutorial on how to make these happen, um, is that you're going to start off with a uh, split time butterfly right here in front of you. And as you bring both of your hands over to one side, um, and I have this set up right now so that my right hand poi is turning counterclockwise, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine that I'm simultaneously trying to tag down between my feet and tag up above my head at the same time. My left hand is going to tag up, my right hand is going to tag down, and when that happens, I, boom, bring them back together on the other side of my body. As I'm going back the other way, I'm going to let my right hand tag up and my left hand tag down, like so. Boom, and back together, yeah? So, as you're learning this, you can take a few beats each time, say count down three, two, one, pop apart, back together, three, two, one, pop apart, pull back together, and then work your way down, two, one, pop apart together, two, one, pop apart, pull back together, until you get down to just one beat. One, pop, one, pop, one, pop, one, pop. And in that way, you should be at a point where you're doing a four pedal anti-spin in split time opposites, right? Cool. So if this feels relatively comfortable, our next step then is going to be that we're going to kind of uh, take away part of it. That is, in uh, pick whichever side you like. It doesn't really matter to start off with because you're going to have to learn it both ways. But imagine that rather than having both a moment where you're popping up and popping down with each hand, that you're going to take away one of those sides. So uh, in this particular instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the part where my right hand is going down and my left hand is going up. So that comes over here on my right hand side. The next time I go there, I'm going to switch my hands straight back across, like so. And this is really no different than what happens if you've got a split time butterfly that you're just moving back and forth. So think of it as being that split time butterfly and then pop apart, split time butterfly, pop apart, split time butterfly, pop apart, split time butterfly, pop apart, right? Now you're going to have to learn it going the other way. So uh, I'm now going to get into that split time butterfly from my left hand side rather than my right hand side, which means I'm going to have my right hand going down, my left hand going up, but I will not have my right hand go up and my left hand go down. It'll happen like this. Pa-pow, apart, pa-pow, apart, pa-pow, apart, pa-pow, apart. Now comes the part where we have to deal with the top bottom bit, right? And this is admittedly a little bit of a challenge. This is where I actually have the hardest time in maintaining my timing and direction. Um, what I'd recommend to start on this is, again, you know, get into that uh, kind of nice split time opposite feel. It feels a little bit like double dutch jump roping, right? And as you bring one hand high and the other hand low, imagine um, that there's kind of like, I don't know, an insect that you're trying to push away from yourself as they're both going through the middle. Um, if it helps, start with your body kind of like off to the side like this and have a visual check that the two poi heads are coming together in the middle and then gradually bring yourself back to that vertical place so that you actually see 
that point where the two poi heads are coming together directly in front of you, right? And once we're at this point here, we're going to try and switch which hand is on top and which hand is on bottom. And it's going to be very normal the first time to do it when the poi are coming together, right? Like that. Which, you know, is an interesting move in and of itself. But what we want to do is we want to make it happen before they can come together. So imagine that instead of switching which hand is on top and which one's on bottom, when we have the two poi coming together, we're going to do it instead when one poi is up and one poi is down. Like so. So we never have a chance for the two poi heads to come together. And again, we're going to wait until one's up woo, and one's down and sweep them past each other. Um, we should do this in such a way that one hand is slightly closer to the body than the other hand. Uh, when my, usually speaking, it is the hand that's on bottom that winds up being closer to you as you're passing them back and forth like this. And if you do it properly, there should be no way that the poi can run into each other on the way through, right? Um, another way you could think of this is being you're going to sweep them out and around and back sweep the mountain around and back, but instead of doing the sweeping, it's a straight line directly in front of you that takes them back and forth, right? Okay, cool. So now what do we do with this? Well, we're going to try sweeping the poi back and forth on either end of that uh, four-petal anti-spin flower that we were playing with before. So for example, right here, with my right hand up, I'm going to have both hands go to the right and switch it back around so that my left hand is on top. I'm now going to take that same bit that I learned where I switch which hand is on top, and go through it again. Pop them out and switch. 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 Now I want to do it the other way, starting with the left hand on top, right? And again, start off with the anti-spin going to the left. So we're going to go pop out and switch. Pop out and switch. Pop out and switch. Pop out and switch. Yeah? So it feels like we have been working on a lot of stuff that is not even remotely connected to each other. But here's where it all comes together in the end. Where we started off here, uh, where I had left go down, or rather right go down, left up, and then across. Um, rather than just kind of getting frozen here, because while this is cool, it is not Zan's diamond, we're instead going to take this moment right after we've gone across, and then left hand goes up and right hand goes down, and we're going to switch which hand is on top, and then bring him back to the side and across, right hand up, left hand down, and switch to have the left hand on top, go out to the left, the right, left hand on top, switch to have the right hand on top, boom, boom, switch, boom, boom, switch, boom, boom, switch, boom, boom, switch. Yeah? So one of the ways I like to think about this is to keep in mind the positions of the hands as we're going through this pattern. And I almost think of it as being something like the Konami code uh, for old Nintendo games, where you think of, I, I, what I've done before with people is I've actually written this down on a sheet of paper and just had them kind of navigate themselves through it. So to imagine that both of the hands are on the right, and then left up, right up, both hands on the right, both hands on the left, right up, left up, both hands on the left, both hands on the right, left up, right up, both hands on the right, both hands on the left, right up, left up, left, right, left up, right up, right, left, right, <laughs> left, right up, left up, left, right, left up, right up, right, left, right up, left up, left, right, left up, right up, right, left. Ah, my God, that's a lot. Um, I'll have it written down in the description of the video so you can try and take it at your own speed. Good practice tips. Number one, uh, make sure that you have this split opposite flower clean before you get into this because there is so much base level knowledge that comes inside of this pattern. Um, and number two, really drill all the pieces of this because they are exceptionally important. And each one will tell you something new about how to get through the full pattern. Yeah? Uh, cool. So, Matthew, thank you so much for making this video happen. And uh, for all of you guys out there who may have been wondering about this exact same trick, yeah? Uh, so, I will catch you guys soon, and uh, I appreciate you out there watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next week. Peace. Hey, gang. This video was sponsored by Harmonic Threads. They created this hoodie, as well as the tops that I'll be wearing all month long in my videos. As a male fire dancer, it's really a challenge sometimes to find nifty looking clothes that are still fire safe.
Harmonic Threads is filling in the gap with fire-safe and stylish clothes for both men and women. You can visit their Etsy shop by clicking on the link in the description of this video and use the promo code DREXFACTOR to get 10% off of your order. Thank you so much to Harmonic Threads for helping me create these videos. If you or someone that you know has learned something from one of the videos that I've created, please consider going to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signing up to be a supporter. There you'll get access to a lot of behind the scenes content as well as some great rewards, plus which you'll be helping me create educational flow arts content for people the world over.